Hi everyone, so our Williams is a really nice meal for us tonight and now we're just going to have a little walk into where everything's happening to see the music and look at some of the stalls and what things look like in the evening. See you later, bye bye. See you. Hi all, we're off for the evening now. Williams made a beautiful meal for us tonight, fantastic. I'm just going to go off now and to hear the music and just enjoy the evening. See you all, bye. Anyway, things are picking up a little bit now. People are turning out from the caravans, tents, campers, motorhomes. And we'll speak to you in a bit. We're going on! God, it's filling up and it's only Thursday night. Are we meeting a new few nice people tonight who's, who's giving us all the um, lowdowns on the festival? Welcome to and Anyway, I've been invited back into the teapot place by that lady. I don't know what we're doing, but anyway, we'll do it. Ask them to play a piece of music, they'll play it. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Catherine and this lady have gone up to ask for a song to be played. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen there. You now they're discussing what song they want to play. <laughs> Apparently you can buy a cup of coffee in here. Hi all, we've got That's Scratchy for Girls coming on next, we've been waiting That's for this. Do a festival, isn't it? Anyway, we're having an ice cream at half past nine at night. Catherine's chilled and we're all waiting for Scratchy for Girls.
Girls before. Me. Let's get the heartbeat. Always a cool in life. She's a pain in the ass. Every time that we meet, let's get the heartbeat. Are you gonna dance? One, two, one, two, two three, three, go! Do it all, do it to the VIP area now um, and just treat myself to a coffee rather than make one. Anyway, I didn't want to wake up this morning but knowing that that uh, coffee van's there, that dragged me up. Anyway, it was a good light at night last night, we all enjoyed it. We went watching um, Sketching for Girls, as you know. One of the things I've noticed is that people were um, you know, once you get into the crowds when you're watching a band, um, you've just no chance basically of going to a bar anywhere and getting a drink. So what people were doing was taking those like beach buggy things that you tow along and they're putting their own drinks and facilities in there and the camp chairs. Um, some people are quite happy to sit, you know, watching from the back, but you can't really sit down when a band's on um, because people just stand in front of them. But at the end of the day, they could have a drink, you know, and they had the cans and the bottles and the different bottle of wine, you know. So um, I think tonight uh, we'll probably just take our own drinks with us. We'll, I might just even take a brandy and cork or a gin and tonic in a in a in a tea flask or something, you know, and just just have a little drink while we're watching the band. Anyway, that's just one thing. Looks like there's something happened down there. The medics, um, somebody's uh, collapsed or something. So the medics are there and the security, and they've got like a, one of these stretchers. It's quite well organised this uh, this event. Um, you know, there's quite a lot of security. There's uh, medics on standby. You've got emergency telephone numbers that you can call for security or the medics. Anyway, that lady, um, I think she's all right. Um, they just um, give her a lift back to her tent or a caravan on a on a golf buggy. I'm assuming she's all right because she's still ordering a cup of coffee. In that little tent there, there's um, phone charging facilities. Just remember that some people are in tents and not everybody has the ability to charge the phone. So you can just go in there and plug in. Quite a good idea, really. Even a little uh, buggy being charged. Anyway, 
back to Beatrice. Anyway, I don't know whether you can hear that noise. That's a gas fridge and it's worked very well. And while we're at it, just having a look at what's on, on here. Look, we've got stereo tonics. <laughs> Let's have a look what we've got on this one. We've got... Oh, what was that other one, Catherine? Thrill Collins, Thrill Collins. Catherine's going watching Mr. Motivator. Fleetwood back. Something telling me that these are not the original band, you know. Bajan again. Anyway, while Catherine's gone doing a yoga class, I'm just going to have a little walk around now. Uh, well, I'm still at the arena. Catherine's took the key, but we just follow a rule that we have a hidden key at the Ariba, so whoever gets back, if there's no key, they can always get in. Um, that's just, just the way we do it. And also, as well, the Aribas have this funny habit of locking you out, and you could have your key left inside, so we just have to be careful on that. Places for children to play there as well. Park. And there in the distance is uh, Ragley Hall. <laughs> Got games here for the children. I'm just going to go and have a look at the hall. It's a bit of a walk up the hill there. The gardens look, look quite nice. Anyway, Catherine's got the key, but uh, and she's there's a, a yoga class at this hall somewhere. But anyway, never mind that. I'll just take you around the hall and have a look. Apparently, this is the yoga yellow bus. But uh, I'll just give you a little look around. It's quite grand. Anyway, there's your yoga class. Even though we're in the heart of the festival, these gardens are a little, uh, a little thing for peace and quiet. I don't think people have come here for peace and quiet though, somewhere. Anyway, back on to the main festival site now. Anyway, that's where the, the VIP part is. So when we tried to book this site, um, everything was booked up but the more expensive VIP part. And from what I've seen at the moment, and from what you've seen as well, 
Um, the, the bathrooms are much nicer, the showers, the showers. Um, you've got a nice little area for the ladies, you've got the coffee bar. And also I was talking to someone last night and, and what they said was, is that when you actually um, try to get out of the non-VIP part on Monday, it can take up to an hour. But on the VIP part, you're straight onto the road. So, it, you know, that's another reason. So I think we'll come again, but I think we'll do what we didn't, well, well I think we'll, we'll do the VIP bit again, even though we didn't intend to this time. I'm at Rugley Hall now. I'm not sure the public can go and look around. Let's find out, eh? Just got a bit of time to myself, just walking around the grounds. Very peaceful. Rugley Hall wasn't open to the public, so I decided just to walk around the grounds. Trees and everything. Very nice. Family's out and about. It's quite hot today. Nice to get away from the crowds sometimes. Uh, behind me there's a handy little shop for things like bread and milk and a few essentials. Me and Catherine are just at the beer tent now having a, a glass of beer and a, and a wine. Just in a, a decent beer tent now in the shed. Steaks, they come on very quick actually. Only been a few um, minutes. This is the last check them in. Right, about halfway done now, just flip them over. Thank you. And the master chef does it again. Stand on, next plate. Okay, gas off. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs>